Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Welcome to a very, very cold morning down in Lyme Regis. Now, I'm out this morning, I'm, I'm going to work at nine o'clock, but um, I wanted to get out this morning because I've got some new goodies to play with. Uh, case filters have very kindly uh, lent me some filters to try out for a couple of weeks. And um, I was eager to get out and give them a whirl. I've heard some really good things about them. And um, yeah, let's see what they can do. So far, so good. They look really, really neutral. Um, everything is balanced really well. The grads are beautiful. I've got a four stop reverse grad on here now and it's just perfect. The sky looks just as I'm seeing it right now. I've been given a four stop reverse, a three stop soft and a two stop hard grad uh, just to try them out and see what I like. Uh, the most. I think I'd be tended to go towards the hard grads and obviously we have that hard horizon. Uh, a soft grad is quite handy if you're in and amongst like mountains but a reverse grad, I wasn't ever really a fan of them but now using one I think I might have to get one. I'm just going to pop a six stop in as well with the reverse grad and the circular polarizer. Oh and the circular polarizer on here as well is actually built in and it's magnetics and it clips on to your actual ring that goes on to the um, front of your lens. I can adjust the amount of polarization I want by just spinning this little wheel and uh, I like that because the Lee one is quite big and it's quite hard to get onto the front of your actual filter holder. I have like nearly dropped it a few times, especially when you're up here in places like this on the cob, quite easily roll into the sea. So this one is already in there, it's behind the grad. It's not going anywhere and I can just adjust the amount of polarization um, as I feel fit and when I need to. So let's pop a six stop in and have a bit of fun with some long exposures. So the six stop filter is in, the four stop reverse graduated filter is in, and the circular polarizer is in there as well. And the polarizer is not doing a great deal, it's just taking a little bit of glare off the water. Um, and it looks really nice, it's a nice scene. It's a shame there's no like high cloud or anything like that, there's not going to be much colour this morning. Uh, I was just keen to get out and shoot uh, and try these new filters out. But it's still nice to be out. Uh, as soon as the sun comes up, I'm going to have to pretty much pack up and uh, get my suit on and get in the office. It's the joys of working, unfortunately. Can't have fun in games all the time. <laughs> but yeah, so far so good. I've done a few test shots with the, uh, the case stuff and it's coming, out, it's coming out good. It looks great on the back of my viewfinder. It's very easy to get the exposure right when the, when the sky changes and the sky gets brighter, pop a different grad in. And uh, the glass filters are looking a lot more professional uh, than the Lee resin ones, but um, I'm not going to know until I get back and put it on the big screen and a good thorough looking over and um, yeah, so far so good, it's looking good. Okay, so I've popped two images up on screen for you there. The first one was about three minutes and 35 seconds in the end. Um, that was just before the sun started to creep up. Uh, and now we don't really have much color at all. Uh, I just took one just a second ago and it was about 60 seconds, same setting, same filters, circular polarizer, four stop uh, reverse grad and a six stop um, neutral density filter. 
and that was about 60 seconds. They just look so clean, like everything looks so balanced, there's no colour cast, there's no weird hues, there's like, I, I always find with the Lee stuff, as much as I love Lee filters, it always gives a little bit of a bluey tinge. I used to shoot with format high-tech filters before Lee, they always used to give a bit of a purpley twinge and purple's not as easy to get rid of as blue is. Blue's quite easy when you've got the little slider, you've got the blue and the uh, orange slider at the top of your Lightroom panel. It's quite easy to get rid of uh, bluey hues but um, with the format high tech stuff I was getting purples and purples is a bit harder to get rid of. Uh, it doesn't look as natural, it looks as if you've used filters. Uh, but on the back of my LCD screen right here it looks pretty much exactly as my eyes are seeing, and even through the viewfinder, very well balanced. Everything looks pretty much exactly the same. So, from 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 the back of my viewfinder, I am in seriously impressed. It, it does look absolutely amazing. Uh, unfortunately, the light is is kind of gone now. There's not much cloud around. I don't think there's going to be a blistering sunrise like I would have hoped. It's still nice to get out, shoot one of my favourite locations, and try out these filters. And, uh, yeah, seriously impressed, really, really impressed. All packed up and just heading back to the car, managed to park just over here. I'm not paid or persuaded in any way, shape or form to talk about case filters. Uh, I might be working with them in the future. They kindly sent me loads of their filters to try out to see if I'd like them. And so far so good. Uh, I could be moving over to case filters. I will give them a bit more of an in-depth try, uh, a few sunsets and maybe during the day and see what they can do. Whack up the 10 stop and see what that can do. Uh, but so far so good, really impressed. So I hope you guys have liked this one guys, it's nice to be back out shooting in, uh, in Lyme again, it's been a, bit, been a bit of a while since I've shot down here. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please do consider clicking that subscribe button below. Give us a like, tell us what you think down in the comments, and I will see you guys in the next one.